today we're gonna eat a fur burger. I'm in between two chicks. Can't choose. everybody. So Buddy has to take care of coffee and food because look at her, she's almost like the Virgin Mary sitting there. I don't want to be zoomed on. So we are moving towards Queentown today, Queenstown, excuse me. No idea what to do there but we're gonna have some great burger. <laughs> this is a dance for Cecilia, she's been a good audience. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not have it. <laughs> And thus we drove towards our next destination. The roads might seem long and never ending, but every time we turn the corner, there is something worth stopping for. So our first stop on the day on the way to Queenstown is this Kawa Rao Gorge. <laughs> you sure it's that? We just found it on the way. Uh, sometimes there's a big sign that says, look, look out, out on yeah. the left. And and then you look out, then and you, you go look to out, the left, and you go left, and then you have this, amazing you have this pretty view. Yeah. Pretty, pretty view. Look at that. It's really great about New Zealand. We have all these sudden stops, unexpected, but get out of the car and go left and go left or right whatever yeah. it says and uh, it's amazing views it's crazy so not far from Queenstown you have this town called Arrowtown which is supposed to be an old miners town they have these stereotypical names of course like the gold nugget very touristic though we barely could find any parking I don't know what the fuss is about new cooker mm. yes no more pushing down a button they will reimburse the $25 it costs so Yay. lucky us you walk proudly with that thing walk proudly woman keep it close to you we need to listen to something new because a lot of the CDs we bought is very very quiet songs and you don't want to fall asleep behind the wheel so <laughs> jukebox classic and that's not gonna happen <laughs> Me and my grill. My new city. Come, let's go. We made it to the Queenstown Gardens and we rented this one and this one, five dollars each. We're gonna play some frisbee golf. Woo! How nice! What we, is that even? Yeah, you just <laughs> throw it in a something. Anyways, we thought it would be a good idea before we eat a massive burger to have a little bit of workout. So that's the plan. Don't lose them, you, because I know you. Yeah, you throw them in it's trees all the time. It's gonna cost me a, a fortune to replace. Mm -hmm. So we've literally been walking for 10 minutes and we have no clue where the start is. Why oh, is it so hard for us? Because we have no sense of coordination. This is such a fail. Still haven't found the golf course. Like 25 minutes we've been walking around with these two. I don't understand why we're so... I feel so dumb. Hi. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so they, they are fixing it at the moment, so it's quite confusing. Okay. But the first one is like just on the other side of these trees. Oh, it starts here. 
So it's quite strange because it's mandatory. Number four. Pass through any of the four gaps between the five trees from either side. Are you ready to play? Yeah, I'm just gonna wait so I don't hit oh, any yeah, of those. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Please read this. Do not throw if you might hit someone. Well, I might hit someone all the time because I'm terrible, but. Um, that looks good, right? Have you seen my frisbee? So you're basically through nowhere. <laughs> yes, I mean, Whoa! you missed this one. <laughs> Congratulations. So the only thing I see is a lot of confusion around the people playing this game. Because either they can't find the starting point, they can't find their frisbee, <laughs> or they can't find the goal. Here's the goal. Glenn is all the way over here. All the way over there. Nice! I think I won this one. What? Oh. <laughs> Guess who won a massage again? Hey, we didn't play for yeah, it. Yeah, I did play for it. Yeah, I didn't. I did. Yay! So, how much did you have? 26? Uh, 26. How much did I have? Uh, 39. I had 27. Liar. I'm sorry. I'm just better at these games than you are. No, it's uh, it's all about luck. To be. <laughs> it's all about luck, to be honest. But you don't want the lady to know that. Often you have to let her win, but most of the time you just take it and break her. Your punishment must be more severe, Cecilia. Shut up, let's get a burger. <laughs> It is time for some food, but not any kind of food. Today, we're gonna to eat a fur burger. I'm not quite sure what we will get, but it's suggested by us by many people, locals, tourists. It's some kind of trip advisor thing, I suppose, but the queue is long. Even though on a quiet day today, it's half an hour, we have number 95 awaiting. So, there is a lot of people inside, so we will do a takeaway. We don't want to sit in there, also there's a lot of music, so we cannot talk. So, I guess we will get some burgers now. I'm proudly walking with my burgers. Keep my them close burgers. to you, because people proudly want to steal walking. it. I think there is a, a big chance that people actually would steal this kind of burger. It smells so it's good. so famous. It smells so good, it goes right up the nose. So we've got ourselves like a huge deal of food, yeah. huge amount of food. We always do this when we go wild, we go all in. So we have some onion rings in here, that's my kind of style. Got some fries, some fries I'm already ducked into. And two burgers, one deluxe and one normal. Mm. And all this food costs around 42 dollar, New, New Zealand dollar, so which is about 25 euro? Ta-da! Is the fuzz about it real or not? Famous bird burger. Mm. Ah, it's one good burger. The bread is really fresh. I think it's because, like you said, it's from the bakery next door. The meat is really um, tasty. And yeah, then there's just chopped in some salad and all. Everything you need in a burger. Mm -hmm. I think the bun and the meat makes this one great. And it's massive. It's as big as my face. Oh yeah, wow. Well, you have a small face, so... <laughs> the burgers were really tasty. But unfortunately, we were not the only ones who liked them. Soon, we were ambushed by a gang of local seagulls and after Cecilia made her last stand, I'm speaking bird. We decided it was time to move on to our next destination. <laughs> this is probably uh, this the, is the worst horrible rock guy place to ever. In our next video, we make it down to Milford Sound.
We really appreciate the big effort of pushing that small red button that guarantees our existence on YouTube. This video was sponsored by no one. Welcome to New Zealand. I bought something recently. I know it's a little bit cheesy and it's a, bit, a little bit wrinkled, so I hope you can read it. So I'm just gonna go like, oh.